This is me, playing my own version of Flappy Board just by moving my hand up and down. No keyboard, no controller, just my hand. Now, how is this done? I've had this Arduino kit for a while, which allows you to make some cool stuff using sensors, buttons, and lights. And while I could make something resembling a more traditional controller using buttons, I wanted to try something different. I wanted to use the ultrasonic sensor. This is able to detect the distance of an object using a bit of math and a high frequency sound. Which that got me thinking, if I made the distance correspond to something like the player's Y value, we could move the player just by moving your hand, giving us a way to play a game without actually touching a controller. But of course, before we actually make any game to use this with, we first have to set up the sensor itself. I got my small breadboard to use to connect the wires, as this will allow me to more easily move and angle the sensor if required. I added some resistors and wires to connect the sensor to the Arduino itself. And I mean, it's only the sensor itself that we have to set up, so then surely I cannot mess that up. Right? What does it mean that there's like zero distance, there's so much room here, but yeah, it's doing that, like, why? Okay, so funny story, um, I'm supposed to like give power to the thing and you might notice that there's four wires there and like two of those are to give power. We are missing those two wires. So after actually supplying the sensor with some power and grounding it, I was able to get it working. I would take the original value it gave and divide it by 100 since we don't want the values to be too too big and we do not need exact accuracy. The value is only being printed to the serial monitor, so it's not going to be of any use until we can get it into Unity. Unfortunately, I have no clue on how to do that. Yeah, so I am looking at all of the tutorials online for this, and most of them recommend using this here. I mean, because the other option is that I try to make it somehow work on my own. Now sure, I could save the $15 and just go make this work myself, but I want the video to release sometime this year, so I decided to get the asset to save the headache I would otherwise get. As you can see, it seems to kind of have the Arduino, it's called my Arduino name, but yeah, it's connected, I just have to make the program actually do stuff, and we have to go make a script in Unity, and then we should be able to do some cool stuff. And not too long after that, this happened. Let's see, is that actually... Oh my gosh. I know I cannot show it right now since I'm recording on the screen, but like up, down, up, down. Okay. Now, of course, it's not actually moving the player yet, but the fact that we now have input being detected in Unity means that we are free to do anything we want with it. Everyone, I have some big news. One moment, is it connected? Okay, so as I was saying before, look. I have spent the last two hours trying to make this work. And it finally does. So if I go like with this here, it changes the height. And I'm just holding this, it's like with my hand, it like doesn't always work the greatest, but as you can see here, you can adjust the height using your hand. And that took two hours. I finally got the player to actually move up and down. The thing is though, it seems to have a hard time when you use your hand. I'm guessing it's because the sound it makes, it like goes between your fingers, whereas if you use a solid object, it doesn't appear to be an issue. And while messing around with the game, I was thinking about what to make, and one game immediately popped into my mind. Flappy Board. Oh my gosh. <laughs> there he is. <laughs> this is so dumb. I made both pipes be a child object of an empty object in the center of the two, meaning that if I move it up and down, both of the pipes will move uh, accordingly and it will always have the same gap between each other no matter what. We have a number that determines the range at which it can spawn with a offset, which gives us the original position and adds or removes a random amount and then spawns the parent object there, which then gives us the height difference. 
And after that, I just had to make the pipes move to the left and get destroyed after a few seconds, and I just spawn one on a regular interval. Yeah, um, I do not remember Flappy Blood being this hard. And after increasing the player score each time they go through a pipe, the game was pretty much done. Making Flappy Board is great and all, but I feel this concept can go so much further. I wanted to challenge myself to make my own small game using this. I wanted to take this controller I made myself and make a game specifically for it. I wanted to change things up and make something unique. But there's a slight issue, there's not much I can really do with these controls. I can move up and down, or left and right if I turn on the sensor, and that's it. All other interactions would have to be activated on their own in the game, such as running into a object. This sets a really interesting restriction on the game, meaning that it has to be a simple game with simple controls, as you can't really do much with this method of controlling the character. But as they say, with limitations comes creativity. So, how can we make a game like this fun to play? How, man? How do you do this part? Let's go. No, it's fuck, it's fun. My main idea for the player movement, at least on the x-axis, was to move the player back and forth using a sine wave, but I still felt that this limits the player's movements as they are stuck to this small box. So instead of having the sensor's distance be the player's y position, I added an offset to the number which makes 0 be around the middle point of its max distance, and if the distance is above 0, move the player up, and if it's below 0, then move the player down. This will of course only move the player up and down, so I just made the player move to the side until they hit a wall and then they bounce back the other way. It's a pretty simple way of doing things, but I found that I actually had a lot of fun just messing around with that mechanic. Now this gives us a pretty decent base for a game, and while testing in this tiny area with only two walls, I was thinking about how much fun it would be to have to navigate a course with obstacles and try to complete it as fast as you can. So the game became a speedrunning game. I added a timer and different orbs that if you hit a green one, 5 seconds gets removed from your time, but red adds 5 seconds. I opened a sprite and spent 2 seconds making some really basic sprites for the player and the two orbs and put them into Unity, which this already gave the game a lot more charm. I was playing through the game and I realized something. The game was too easy. And I want to get a reaction out of those that play the game, and if it's too easy, then that's not going to happen. So, naturally, I made the game into a rage game near the end. So, I made an orb that teleports you to a specific location, and I briefly introduced the player to the mechanic before they stumble across this excuse for level design. Random chance. You enter a portal and just pray that it makes you move on. However, I didn't want to make this section too long, as I don't want to be that annoying. But I'm willing to be this annoying. I just made a bunch of teleporting orbs that just send you back to the start of the area that you are currently in. Because I'm like sure that like no one could possibly have trouble at this part. Right? And now there is only one thing left to do. Get my friends to try out the game. This smile is patronizing me, I don't like it. <laughs> Why? So how am I supposed to play this? I have an idea. Up, 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 up. Down. Down. Down, 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 down. Oh, okay. <laughs> Times that you felt guilty. Times that you felt shame. I feel you shame right now. I think I finally understood it. If it's up here, it's just gonna move up. <laughs> yeah, the whole point. It took me three and a half minutes to realize. <laughs> really hard, man. It'll just be better. No, 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 no. Oh. Hey, that's so rude. That's mean. Is this like symbolism for something? What do you think it's symbolic of? My mental anguish. <laughs> oh my gosh. This part is, is not nice. Maybe switch career paths, okay? <laughs> wow. <laughs> <laughs>